Gregor Arturo here, and I want to talk today about polarization of metals in your hands, how they work with uh, your hand chakras. And so, I have a copper tube and a bar of zinc here. Now, copper's atomic number is 29, zinc is 30. Maurice Cotterall um, talks about an interesting interaction between metals when they're really close to each other on the atomic uh, uh, table. 29 and 30. He talks about nitrogen, oxygen, 7 and 8, and hydrogen, helium, uh, 1 and 2. And while the uh, Egyptians would have something called uh, healing rods, and they had a copper healing rod and a zinc healing rod, and they'd use them to do energy work over people. The interesting thing is, when I'm holding this copper in this hand and this zinc in this hand, right, the zinc is taking on a negative charge and the copper is taking on a positive charge. Um, if I stuck these in the ground and hooked a voltmeter on, um, they do the same sort of polarization to the electron flow going into the copper. Um, so your body can do this. Um, these, uh, the, the earth can, do, can cause this polarization, and so can crystals, like pyrite, magnetite, um, which are an octahedron and a cube, which are crystals I really want to use in my work. Um, and so... Um, if these take on a charge, you start to move this in the air, you start to create a magnetic field. Um, one thing I still believe is without the metals, even with me moving the hand, my hand in the air, I can feel a magnetic field because it's just torque, or I'm creating, creating rotation. Um, and even though magnetism is related to centrifugal force, but it's all rotation. Electric and magnetic are just different aspects of the rotation. An outward rotation and inward rotation. And so, uh, I'm briefing up this idea. Is it one of these copper ones that uh, I've made? The quartz crystal, and I have a little brass ring I just made. Um, it's really, I don't have any zinc wire to make a brass ring. Um, but there's a, you know, brass is made out of zinc and copper. So these are ones, I mean, uh, pyramids I'm making as little fundraisers to get the shop up and going every 20 bucks. Let me know if you guys want one. Good for charging crystals of the Pyramid of Giza, but brass is one of the most sacred metals made of copper and zinc. And so I would like really focus on, a lot of attention on copper, zinc, and brass and how these metals interact. It's an interesting dynamic. And so when I'm holding this copper in this hand, it's taking on a positive charge, and this brass, um, actually I don't know which one's taking on which charge, but I bet the brass is taking on a positive charge, and the cop or negative, and the copper is taking on a yeah, positive. I can feel this out of the volume here, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, every metal will have different polarizations, different rates of polarization. I know copper and zinc is a very powerful polarization between the two. And so, um, if you combine that aspects of like Tai Chi, it's one of the simplest movements I can do. I can start to build the energy at the tip of the wand, at the center of my palm, and my hand chakra. And as I do this, the energy just keeps building and building and building. And so it also reminds me of my, my raving days. So we're actually doing some real science here. As I'm doing this, my hand chakra is opening up. It's opening up a lot. I can feel it just ripping, ripping open. And if I do this for five minutes, my hand will be completely, completely open. It'll just be buzzing alive with energy. And so it shows you one idea how you can actually put a wand to use and start to use it to energy work. And that's just the initial concept. And so now my hand is vibrating. Um, the uh, hand chakras have started to really open. Um, and uh, anyways, I'm also making these. Um, I can do them custom or I'll be putting them more on Etsy and selling them for like 40 to $80 depending on the style. This one has to get milled out today. It was the last one I built before it got uh, before it got um, before I got locked out of the shop, that's the last thing I did. And so, yeah, that was the idea I wanted to communicate. Um, and that, you know, wearing rings um, has advantages for healers and energy workers for working on people, of using different uh, metals, and uh, explore what metals work good. Um, but wearing two different metals in each hand is a way to drastically amplify the uh, electromagnetic energy you can create with your hand chakras. Till next time, adios and one love, my friends.